In a perfect world, the Tokyo Olympics will be wrapping up in just a few days. I know athletes would be on their way home, hopefully maybe with a couple medals in tow. But since we'll be waiting another year for the Summer Olympics to hopefully start, we want to take a look back at just some of the Idaho athletes who performed on the world stage. Like this Idaho State student, athlete, and coach who brought home gold from Sydney to Pocatello 20 years ago. Stacy Dragila won the gold medal in the first ever Olympic women's pole vault competition. Hours after the medal ceremony, she walked across the street of Sydney Olympic Stadium to meet up with Mark Johnson at the Olympic Pub to show off a gold medal that would soon be coming home to Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Women's pole vault, first one ever. Nice. My name all over it. <laughs> what is this feeling like? <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty dang awesome. I don't think it can get much better than this right here. You wow. you, you, you kept it really exciting. <laughs> I think I did. I really excited myself there. I thought I wasn't gonna make it, but um. You know, I kept looking to my coach and he kept saying a couple of little things to work on and it worked. Imagine that. <laughs> I love him for it. <laughs> Thanks for all your support. I know you guys are watching at home, sending me emails every day. You guys rock. Pocatello, Idaho. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in about a month after my vacation down under. <laughs> The days before social media, Mark, you were there in 2000 as a sports director. What do you remember about that day? Well, you know, Sydney is 18 hours ahead of New York time. And so that was about two o'clock in the morning, two hours after her competition. She had a couple of beers and then she had to leave. And that's Katie Kirk. She had to go see Katie and Matt and Al at the Today Show. Then she had pes press conferences and interviews. It was a whirlwind for Stacey Dragila. And she did all of that after drinking two beers at the pub across the street. A well deserved couple of beers, I'd say. All right, so what is she up to now, these days? Well, she's got the Dragila Sports Complex in Garden City. She teaches vaulting classes and training future Olympic hopefuls, hopefully. And she also has a nonprofit that donates vaulting poles to local schools using her mantra don't be afraid to fail, which is so apropos because she missed on her first two attempts at the gold medal height. And then finally, on her third try, whoop, yep. gold medal coming to Pocatello, Idaho. Like you said, she made it very exciting. She did, and Katie loved every minute of it. <laughs> we all did. All right, thanks, Mark. <laughs>